For your final project this semester, we're gonna walk you through five different tutorials, different steps on creating a website using Google Sites. Now, many of you may say, hey, this is gonna be easy. I don't need to do the tutorials. I don't need to do the checklist because I've made sites with Google Sites before. But remember, the key for this is about the learning component. We want you to explore some ways to build a site that actually forces you to think about the the resources and the content before you actually dive in and just think about the technology side of it the content is always what's most important about anything that we publish whether it's a report an essay or a website or even a slideshow presentation and walking through and creating that content when we do that before we actually use it in the technology or just kind of jump around the technology we can almost guarantee our content is going to be at a much 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 higher level of quality so we want to learn to work efficiently we want to work creatively but we also want to work so that we are promoting a quality content project. For this project, you need to be thinking about a fun destination of where you wanna go. And you know, I don't want you to just kind of randomly grab a place that everywhere everyone else would go. We want you to do a little bit of research and thinking about where you might wanna go. So when I created this website for all of you to view, I've never been to Detroit. And I'll be honest, I haven't heard a lot of good things about Detroit. It wasn't until I actually spent a little bit of time exploring and thinking about what I might use as an example for this class, that I actually fell upon the content of thinking, you know, Detroit might be an interesting place to visit. And with summer coming up, even if you don't go there this year, what fun is it to really think about all the different places that we could visit? Now, as you're doing this, again, look up here. We're going to show you how to do a favicon. This little car up here, just like every other browser that you have up here, this little car is my icon or my logo for my site that I created with Detroit. Um, why a car? Well, Detroit is known as the Motor City. Now, I wouldn't have really known to use a car if I didn't know anything about Detroit, and that's why this first assignment, don't worry about how you're gonna build this site. We're just going to think about an, how we could figure out where you might want to promote or, or encourage someone to go. Why are we calling it 100 hours? We'll do the math on that. If four days, is, isn't that right? Four days is 96 hours. So we're basically looking at a vacation place that we would be there a little more than four hours, or excuse me, four days. So we're saying 100 hours. So we know that's about the time frame that we're going to play with. And if you were to promote this to someone, you're probably gonna think about four specific things you might be able to do each of the one thing each day. And of course, we would probably do a lot more than that. So I didn't know anything about any of these items that I have pictured before I did my research, and that's what we're gonna do for this first assignment. But notice how easy it is to navigate, how beautiful and how crisp the pictures are. We've got a drop-down uh, menu here. We have some buttons that will take us, and we'll talk more about this later. And we also have a carousel. If you were to go through this carousel, the pictures are beautiful. They're crisp. I didn't take these pictures. You're not going to probably take your pictures. This is set up for you as an educational opportunity. So we're not even gonna to worry too much about copyright on this, but we know we can go and get pictures from a lot of places that are free. But for this assignment, we want, we want you to just demonstrate quality all the way. And then we also have like a little advertisement banner up here at the top. So don't guess at how to do this. Walk through all of the steps with this. You'll have plenty of time to get this one done. And let's talk about how you're going to create this assignment. All right, so task one said to preview, preview the example, watch the tutorial and understand a little bit about why we're doing this assignment so that you understand to learn to build that content first. All right, you need, to suggest, you need to select where you're gonna go first and foremost. So I gave you an example on your, on your checklist. I said, think of three things, even if you have to write it down, even if you have to daydream right now, three things of places or things that you would like to do, and let's maybe even narrow it down over the course of the summer that you could do on a summer vacation. Um, and it can be just a dream. If you wanna to go to a different country, that's fine as well. When I was doing this, I, my, the three things I thought of was, I'd like to go see something 
really special for baseball. I love baseball. I thought about nature in the summer in particular. I like to be outside. I like to be able to see beautiful things. I like amusement parks, so that could have been one, but I also chose things like historical places to visit. If you're really interested in a certain kind of food, if you like Greek food, if you like ballet or you want to go see a soccer match, check that checklist in your in your assignment. And you're basically just going to do all kinds of Google searches and go out and find some sites that interest you. You need to find five articles. So if I were to say best cities in the U.S. for baseball. Now, I might get this and I might say, I don't want to go to any of those. I, I'm not interested in any of those. Um, power ranking. The one thing that I went to that I really liked was that one of my sites that I had, had said Detroit. So when you find the site, you're supposed to, and this is really important, I want you to put that to your reading list. And you're going to need this for your hand in assignment for this one. So make sure you do this. Add it to your reading list at least five. When you add it to your reading list, if you look over here and I go to my reading list, I'm going to see all of them that I have saved. I've got a bunch of them and this is how I decided on Detroit. I didn't pick Detroit first. I went through and read some really good articles and then that's how I decided on which city I was going to do. All right, so for task two, go out and find five interesting articles it can be about, you know, and then try to narrow it down so that you've got five articles about the city of where you want to go or your destination. Please know you're going to need that for your comment as well. So you have to have, by the end of this assignment, you should know exactly where you want, what your content for this site is going to be. All right, task three, it's time to start gathering your resources. I tell you to go and start gathering icons. Based on your destination, and I told you mine was Detroit, you need to save at least five icons. Now, if I go to my photos, you're gonna see, I went through and Detroit, I knew they had the Detroit Tigers. I know it's really big deal for automakers. So that's why I did the keys. I tried to find some things. I did cars because cars are a big deal in Detroit. Um, so these are the icons that I found. It's important that you get one that has, that you get five that have color in them. I gave you two sites. The Noun Project is awesome. It's a great resource. You might want to use it for other classes. But when you do your icon and your favicon, notice here my icon, I was able to pull my color theme from those icons. So make sure you find an icon that has some color in it. All right, so that is your task three. You're gonna go ahead and get your icons. Task four says to save at least 10 to five images. Now, you, I gave you another resource in task four. It's amazing. It has like 40, I think. I'm not gonna open it here because it'll take more time. Like 40 different sites that are free photos. But you don't have to use the free photos. If you wanna go back to your bookmarks, and you want to, excuse me, if you want to go back to your reading list, that's why I had you save these pictures. Nine best places to explore. Ten, you know, if I go back to any of my Detroit photos and premium high resolution pictures, you can go back to any of these and just click on the photos in here and save them to your photos. And my suggestion is because you have this carousel that you're going to be making, I would suggest that you do a, quite a few that are landscape as a port of landscape or wide as opposed to portrait so that they fit well with your um, with your carousel that you're making down here. See how they're landscape? So this is all about preparing, gathering your resources. All right. Moving on, get that done, come on back. Task five says to write a brief description or a narrative. Now I would use this, you guys are good at using your note apps or maybe you can use free form or whatever you want or you can just use a plain piece of paper. Start thinking about writing down a little bit about those places that you want to visit. Why do you need that? Well, you don't need much. Here's an example of what I wrote down. Detroit is a city with beautiful nature, hikes, river walks, 
and community gardens. You'll find them everywhere. And I have a typing error I'm gonna to have to go back and correct. So this is what you wanna write. Why do this now? Because when you get in that flow of creating your website, again, having your content ready to go ahead of time makes life so much easier. You can do things so much faster if you learn to follow this, this plan for developing websites. All right, tax, ta task six says to take a screenshot of your reading list because your teachers are gonna wanna see that you have a reading list here. Remember your command shift four, or you can do that with your pencil, however you wanna do it. Get that screenshot. I'm gonna save mine to my photos and then remember to add it to your 10.1 assignment. In your comment, what are you gonna write? What will be your destination? I would simply write in my comment, my destination that I'm going to create my website is Detroit. That's all you need. You come up with your city. I should have no one in this class doing Detroit because there are so many places to visit. Come up with your own creative destination. That's all you need to do for 10.1. Come on back to the next assignment and we'll show you how to do some really basic, easy ways to personalize and brand your website.